what's up guys so this video is basically just something I'm kinda of doing because Jason Unwer put out a video on basically trolling the uh, victims of communism fund you know there's a Canadian heritage site you can go on to I think it's like PCH or something like that I'll provide the link in the description but essentially yeah he's uh, going over things like different things like the, how the Department of Ca uh, Canadian Heritage invites ca uh, Canadians from across the country to contribute to the building of their nation of their nation's capital by sponsoring commemorations of Canadian ideas people and events that are nationally symbolic importance yada 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 now what I find interesting is that this is a uh, victims of communism like Memorial Foundation in other words they raise money for people that were victims uh, uh, the millions of worldwide who suffered or perished under the totalitarian communist regimes and celebrate Canada's international role as a place of refuge which I find funny because you know these are the same people that create the national holocaust you know thing which is much needed Yet they then completely do a 180 and you know and uh, create a victims of communism foundation. You do realize that communism is kind of like what helped end the European theater in World War II, right? That it was communists that actually stormed into Berlin and you know, at least for as far as historical accounts have, killed, you know, uh, helped to bring about the end of the Nazi regime. Hitler committed suicide. You know that, you know, you should know your history of that. It was not the Americans. It was not the British. It was not the French. The war ended because the Red Army stormed into Berlin. It had, so to say that basically to create a victims of communism foundation is kind of like you're spitting in the face of people that you know actually died at the hands of Nazism the people that you know it's kind of spitting into the face of people that actually you know you know were victims of something that actually was totalitarian and not you know so, you know, you kind of get my point. So, he basically, uh, <coughs> he basically goes into talking about the questionnaire. Now, I already did the questionnaire, unfortunately, and, um, so unfortunately I couldn't do it a second time because that's what they told me. And... So I'm just basically going to do this from context. The design must creatively embody the, com the commemorative theme of the memorial to the victims of communism. The theme, Canada, a land of refuge, recognizes Canada's international role as a place of refuge for fleeing, blah, 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 blah. And essentially, you know, you can decide what you want to do, recognize the expertise of, of Canadians who immigrated from communist countries, commemorate the millions of people worldwide, uh, remind visitors about the core Canadian values. I too clicked on the core Canadian values one because uh, I just kind of figured it's good to remind them of what they really are fighting for considering that they don't seem to know what they're fighting for. Visitor experience. Various visitor experiences are considered when designing a new monument. These experience guide design teams and their creative approach to how visitors will interact with and use the memorial to the victims of communism. Uh, please identify which of these visitor experiences of the memorial you think are important. Um, I ended up doing uh, basically as a catalyst that prompts discussion and inspires visitors of all ages to learn about more about their past. Jason went with a landmark to uh, enhance the visitor's perception of the capital, or of capital, really, because, you know, the form of character. The plan is for the memorial to be built on a site in downtown Ottawa that is between 200 and 500 square meters. 
design teams must consider such factors as the size and characteristics of the site as well as the surrounding environment as they strive to create a design that is integrated with its surroundings. So please indicate your preferred approach for the memorial given the proposed location. Um, I basically ended up saying that they should have... Um, I ended up going, I think, with the one about the, uh, as well, about the interaction with the monument at, uh, as visitors explore the site, because, you know, you'd kind of want to give them a nice little place to explore the site. Now, the have your say part is really kind of an interesting part. Now, Jason wrote his own little thing, and I'm just going to kind of skip uh, that part. But, um, but yeah. I ended up basically writing that, you know, since we're in the spirit of doing all this sort of um, interesting little, you know, thing, since this is a Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation, I wrote and suggested that, you know, they build a monument to the to the millions of Germans that died uh, died in Berlin at the hands of the Red Army. Because, you know, again, essentially when you're talking about building a memorial to the victims of communism, the first thing that pops into mind is, well, you might as well then build a damn monument to the Germans that were killed in the Battle of Berlin. Because, you know, the Nazis were just such victims of the fucking communists, weren't they? So, you know, you kind of understand my cynicism when I and my sarcasm as well when I basically write that and that's be only because I'm just trying to prove a point you know everybody had their different experiences under communism but the people that seem to create the most you know idiocy out of it seem to be people that you know either defected or were paid in some way by the Western imperialists to create some sort of lie. <coughs> now, this last part basically asked you, uh, do you live in the national capital region? I just put no. And in which province or territory do you live? Well, obviously I don't live in Canada. I live in California. But for the sake of purposes I also put Ontario the last part to it will basically just say thank you for participation and you just hit submit and you know that's literally all you've got to do so that's basically it I just kind of wanted to uh, you know plug that video of his and uh, you know in case you want to you know visit any more of his videos, uh, that's Jason Unru, uh, that his last name is U-N-R-U-H-E, uh, so search him up, or Maoist Rebel News, either one, and, uh, yeah, so, that should just about do it, and thank you guys for listening, I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner, peace.